So patients will call and say, I want a Brazilian butt lift, but they may not be a good candidate for it because right. it's just such a common term that's used. I know since you've been doing buttock procedures and body contouring procedures since about 2005, there's a lot of different things that you do when it comes to all parts of the body, right. but especially the buttocks. So can you elaborate a little bit about the different procedures you perform right. um, when it comes to the butt? As you alluded to, uh, I've been doing Brazilian butt lifts since, since 2005 and other buttock procedures. We do buttock reduction. That's when people have a bigger butt and they want it reduced. We do actual buttock lift where we actually cut and lift the buttocks. Buttock reduction is the same. We cut and lift the buttocks and reduce a chunk of it at the same time. We do buttock augmentation with implants, buttock augmentation with fat, combination of fat and implants, and buttock reshaping. So what is, let's start with the buttock reshaping because people come to me and say, I don't like the dents in my butt, I don't like this, I don't like that. And when you really look at the butt, you'll see, oh, this one is smaller, this one is bigger, this one is fuller down here, this one has a depression on the side, um, this one has been over liposuction, dimples. So there's a lot that goes on with the butt in terms, in terms of shape. And when people don't want it augmented, we don't always augment it. We take fat from unwanted places and we precisely put it into wanted places to make them symmetrical. That's buttock reshaping meaning that you're changing the shape of the butt. In the process, it will augment the buttock to some degree, but it doesn't have to. We can take the fat from the upper buttocks when we liposuction, and sometimes I do that, um, and then put the fat into areas that we want in order to shape them, in order to enhance them, in order to create roundness this way and then horizontally, vertically and horizontally. So we end up with a heart shaped or round shaped buttocks. Apart from buttock reshaping, I also do buttock reduction. That's when, as I said, a person comes and has a bigger butt and they want it lifted and made it smaller. So in those situations, we go and remove a chunk of the upper buttocks all the way to the muscle, removing the skin and fat together and then lifting the butt and reducing it. So it's a buttock lift and reduction. Most buttock lifts can reduce your butt. So when people go and sometimes, you know, come back to us for revision after body lift elsewhere, they always complain that I have no butt. They lifted my butt. When you have a buttock lift in the manner that I just described, you get a buttock reduction with it unless the surgeon plans to do buttock augmentation. So a lot of times I do a lift, I use that chunk of fat that is usually removed, I develop flaps. What do flaps mean? Flaps mean that the fat or the tissue that you are utilizing has its own blood supply and it's attached to blood vessels. So we take the lower back fat on each side, we rotate them and we put it into the back. So we are doing autologous, meaning self augmentation of your buttock with lower back fat pads. And then I liposuction the surrounding areas and then inject that fat into the lower buttocks. So for a lot of patients who are having a buttock lift with augmentation, that's what we do. We use two modalities to augment your butt as it's being lifted. With the lift, you get reduction. So it's a lift reduction, augmentation, and reshaping, all done at the same time. Patients also want, sometimes they feel that they need an implant for, um, for buttock enhancement after losing 200 or 100 pounds of weight. And most of the times I'm able to use their own tissue to augment it to the degree that they come back and say, I'm happy, I do not need an implant anymore. Implants and body lifts can be difficult to perform in a sense that the body lift is a big procedure and probably I would prefer to do the body lift first and then if needed to come back and put an implant. But I've done five, six, seven hundred body lifts and no one 
has ever needed an implant. Tell us what is important when it comes to shaping the buttocks. That's a great question. So if you look at plastic surgery um, literature, a buttock shape has actually been described previously. And there are four types of buttock shapes. The round shape, which is obviously what's desired. The A-shaped, like a J-Lo butt, that's also highly desired. Um, and then the V-shape that sometimes we see, meaning that the patient's whole body is like a V with upper body being so much bigger than the lower butt. And as you come towards the butt, it looks like a V and then tiny thighs. And then the boxer shape. And the boxer shape honestly looks like a box when you look at the patient's back. It's not the butt, it's the whole back view. They have a large roll of fat and love handles of the lower back that is sitting on top of the butt and makes the whole back view look like a box. So those shapes have been described in plastic surgery literature by others. Um, and probably there are more shapes, but in reality, you can always fit a person's butt into one of those shapes. The reality is that ultimately you want to improve the whole back view. To improve the back view, you want to get rid of the whole excess fatty tissue of the upper, mid, lower back, love handles, sacrum, saddle bags, banana rolls, so that not only you're improving the shape of the butt, but also you're improving the shape of the back and the thighs and the saddle bags. You want to create concavity of the waist, concavity of the lower back. You want to create a nice demarcation between the lower back and the upper buttocks. You want to do your liposuction in such a way that you enhance and bring out the shape of the butt, making them nicer and rounder individually. And that means that the width and the height have to match so that you have a nice buttocks. And sometimes that means that you have to liposuction the upper buttocks to make it shorter. And we do that because as you inject the fat, it makes it longer again. So you have to plan to make the buttocks shorter so that with the injection, it becomes rounder and pay attention to the surrounding areas. Again, it's a picture and it looks much better in the right frame.